2023. No, it's not the amount of pounds this new suit cost. Definitely it's not. It's the year robots were on the rise. My battery powered dong is on the rise and all, with excitement for this video. My penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. The year got off to a bang. Unfortunately for Jeremy Renner, that was the sound of a snowplow cracking 30 of his bones. Talk about an actor getting the big break. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo joined Al Nasir for a world record football salary. People mock the move to Saudi, but I think it's a cutthroat league, especially if you get an erection in the changing room. Come on, Paul. Prince Harry released his memoir, Spare, in which he spoke about his frostbitten, oscillating penis. Prince Andrew's memoir about his penis is called Spare. 12 million for my latest victim, please. Molly May had a baby daughter and named it Bambi. It was the first pretty little thing she produced that wasn't from a sweatshop. And lastly, Mr. Beast made a video curing a thousand people's blindness, so now they could find the subscribe button. This inspired me to make a video curing a thousand people's blocked noses. Check it out. There you go. How's that? Fuck me, your breath stinks. Harvey Weinstein is likely to spend the rest of his life behind bars. In February, ChatGPT became the fastest growing user base. The AI website was revolutionary. As with simple prompts, it could produce groundbreaking results. So I'm going to use it to write the next joke. Movie producer Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to prison. So now the only roles he's given out are the bread ones at lunch. What the fuck was that? Harvey Weinstein was sentenced to 16 years in prison, making Jeremy Renner the second most ploughed man in Hollywood this year. So it's done. And lastly, Cocaine Bear was released in the cinemas. Bloody hell, he'll destroy the seats. I'll do it myself. Oh. Enough is enough. We must stop the boats. In March, Suella Bravma made a video saying stop the boats. Gary Lineker was later banned from presenting Match of the Day for criticising the government saying they used language similar to 1930s Germany. That's foolish, Lineker. I mean, come on. We pay for their hotels, their food. They join the NHS. And they don't pay their taxes. Uh, no, that's the politicians. Shit. Still, your brother's a bad creep. Internet star Has Buller was in trouble after footage emerged of him hitting his pet cat. Oi, mate, pick on some of your own s species. In other hot topics, a chocolate factory explosion in Pennsylvania killed at least four people. It's believed the workers had a bounty on their heads. <sighs> well, I've been in one room since last year. In April, Andrew Tate was released from jail and put under house arrest. Locked in a home with no escape, the top G must have felt like one of the women he trafficked. Elsewhere, the Dalai Lama said sorry for a video of him asking a young boy to suck his tongue. The Dalai Camel also apologised for giving the boy two humps. And Russ Cook, aka the hardest geezer, sets off on his quest to run the length of Africa. <laughs> hey Russ, if I wanted to watch a ginger roasting all day, I'd, I'd, I'd tune into Stephen Dries. Who? Fuck off. And OnlyFans welcome their biggest dick yet, as Nigel Farage joined the site. He was quoted, If you thought Brexit was hard, wait until you see my cock during the national anthem. <sighs> what do you, do you want me to die? In May, Has Buller was in trouble again, this time for driving offences. <laughs> what car was it? An Audi reached the pedals. You could have said a Mini. Go on. May also saw King Charles's coronation. Despite having a net worth of two billion, the ceremony cost taxpayers close to a hundred million pounds, which during a cost of living crisis could be seen as controversial. So we wanted to get the opinion of the man on the street. <coughs> what do you think the people are having to pay for the King's coronation? Oh, I'm all for it. I've been saving up for a few weeks just so I can contribute. Ha, 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 ha. God, this guy's good. KSI's fight with Joe Fournier was ruled a no contest after he elbowed him. But somebody else dishing out illegal blows was Philip Schofield, that this morning presenter resigned after he allegedly had an affair with a teenage colleague. Oh, Philip. And lastly, Harry and Meghan hit the headlines when they were almost in a terrible car crash. But thanks to Prince Andrew, the royals are no strangers to a dangerous hard drive. All aboard the toxic gossip train. In June, the Ocean Gate submarine set off to visit the Titanic. Things quickly took a turn for the worse, and the vessel imploded, destroying a group of male millionaires quicker than the Me Too movement. 
Speaking of losing subs, YouTuber Colleen Ballinger was accused of grooming young fans. In her apology video, she sang a song and played the ukulele. Strange. I always saw her as more of a fiddler. Entrepreneur Brian Johnson rose to fame after spending two million a year to reverse his ageing. Like Philip Schofield, his secret involved injecting himself with a 17-year-old's plasma. Man City you in the trouble, if you care. I don't. I'm just kidding, anywhere else I'd be dead. In July, the world experienced the hottest ever global temperature. But it was Hugh Edwards who was really feeling the heat. The newsreader had been accused of paying a teenager £30,000 for sexually explicit images. What? For £20 a month, you can see Nigel Farage union jacking himself. The Barbenheimer films were released in cinemas, with both smashing the box office. The Barbie film was praised for giving male viewers a brand new perspective of women's liberation. Cool, Margot Robbie and Dua Lipa in the same film? Forget Oppenheimer's bomb, my cock's about to explode! <laughs> and lastly, Elon Musk changed the name of Twitter, making Kanye West the second most toxic ex in the world. <laughs> Suck on that, yay! It's heartbreak for the lionesses! In August, America discovered the first ever double XL bully, as Lizzo was accused of creating a hostile work environment. Relatable. Back to work. In other news, the Lionesses lost the World Cup final to Spain. I hadn't seen a woman look this disappointed about finishing second since Valentine's Day. Well, I just lick it and flick it. And there was controversy during the trophy presentation, as the Spanish football chief kissed players without their consent. The only cup he was interested in lifting was the 32 double D. A comedian Carl Porter went viral with his slow motion goal celebration. I managed to track Carl down for an exclusive interview. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, very good. <sighs> oh, I this. Speed! What is that? Oh my word! In September, the Sidemen charity match raised £2.4 million had 2.7 million live viewers and a sold out crowd of 62,000. My word, those previous records got smashed like Theo Baker's hip and I thought the Milky Bar Kid was strong and tough. Meanwhile, the government decided to ban XL bullies with owners offered 200 pounds to have their dogs put down. I sadly had mine killed. For her last meal, she had two cats, an iPad and a toddler's arm. Rest easy, Snuggles. Yeah, I've been having some really dark thoughts. Shh, shh, shh. Elsewhere, Wilco's announced it would be closing for good. But another brand as good as dead was Russell, as Dispatches released a programme about his horrific behaviour over the past 20 years. Looks like we've got another hairy beast to put down. See what saying? The amount of times he hit me in the back of the head. So many times. Now in October it was KSI versus Tommy Fury. Tommy won in a disputable decision. Yeah. Now he hasn't had that much controversy involving a ring since allegedly cheating on his fiancée Molly May. Well, it's not the first time Bambi's mum has been hurt by a bang, is it? <laughs> All right, see you, mum. How can I help you? It's a nice wrist action you got there, my guy. <clears throat> After trying to build a spa in their back garden, Captain Tom's family admitted to keeping money from the charity. My word. A daughter hasn't milked her father like that since a woman used a glory hole in Amsterdam. Speaking of which. And lastly, comedian David Williams revealed being sacked from Brit's Got Talent led to suicidal thoughts. We have an exclusive clip of him speaking about the situation. Pity. I want pity. Squeal, piggy, squeal. <laughs> Hi. In November, politician Suella Braverman was sacked. Yeah, go on. Take your belongings and fuck off home. Just one of her policies from her time in office. Nigel Farage went on Ama Celebrity for a record £1.5 million. He was going to Australia to face his biggest fear. Black Widow Spiders. Hmm? Oh, just Black Widows. Speaking of fucking gammons, the Conservatives went from Hancock to Hancock as David Cameron was announced as Foreign Secretary. This was the most surprising position he'd been in since he 69 a piglet. Do you mind? Sorry. And in other news, Sticky Vicky died aged 80. The better dorm legend sadly popped her clogs. Not out of her fanny. In December, the highly anticipated Wonka film came out, starring Timothy Chalamet. Here's a clip for you. You can even lick the walls here. Mmm, <gasps> what is that taste? That's chlamydia. Hey, fuck off. Of course, it wasn't just our minds we lost in 2023. 
We also say goodbye to some real legends. Let's take a look. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there we have it, another 12 months done. For some, a year to forget, but for others, we'll always have this to remember it by. Unless YouTube takes it down because of all the nonce jokes. Bye bye! <laughs>